King Charles officially revoked Harry's veteran president after Pat Tillman Awards scandal. The British royal family has experienced a significant leadership change in a prestigious military unit. King Charles has officially handed over the role of Colonel-in-Chief of the Army Air Corps to his eldest son Prince William, the heir to the throne. The historic ceremony took place on Monday, July the 15th, 2024, at the Army Aviation Centre in Middle Wallops, Southern England. King Charles, currently 75 years old, arrived at the military base to formally bestow this honour upon the 41-year-old Prince of Wales. This move symbolises a passing of the torch, as the Army Air Corps unit was previously commanded by Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Harry, now 39, served as an Apache helicopter pilot in Afghanistan during his military career. However, after stepping down from his senior royal duties in 2020 and moving to the United States with his wife Meghan Markle, the military role has now been entrusted to his elder brother. The ceremony was attended by a crowd of royal enthusiasts eager to witness this significant moment in the history of the British monarchy. As Charles and William arrived at the military base, they were greeted by a guard of honour and Lieutenant General Sir Nicholas Porton. The Colonel Commandant of the Army Air Corps who escorted them to the Army Flying Museum. Inside the museum, the King unveiled a plaque to commemorate the arrival of the first Apache Mark I helicopter to be installed in the United Kingdom. This particular Apache had been involved in the Battle of Jugroom in Afghanistan in 2007, a significant military engagement involving British troops. Following the formal proceedings, the father and son posed for a series of photographs in front of the Apache helicopter, surrounded by members of the Army Air Corps. William, who also received military training, had the opportunity to sit in the front seat of an Apache attack helicopter during their visit further solidifying his connection to this prestigious unit. It's important to note that both William and Harry are trained military pilots, with Harry's experience being more extensive, having served in the Army Air Corps for over three years. As the heir to the throne, William's military involvement wasn't as active during his time in the armed forces, as he wasn't directly involved in active conflict. According to reports, this decision by King Charles to bestow the role of Colonel-in-Chief upon William has reportedly left Harry in tears, as the younger prince has always felt marginalised and underrated within the royal family. Royal expert Tom Quinn suggests that the announcement was deliberately made while Harry was in the UK, a move seen by some as a message that the king's younger son is no longer welcome. This transition of leadership within the Army Air Corps marks a significant moment in the ongoing dynamics of the royal family, as the siblings navigate the revolving roles and relationships. The passing of the torch from Harry to William serves as a poignant reminder of the changing tides within the institution and the continuing efforts to maintain the stability and continuity of the British monarchy.